From the studio that brought you Axe Hero, I bring you Axe Wyvern. <laughs> All right, this is a new build video. So this is a Marin build in this case. Now this is a weird build. This is a Lynn build. So all my Lynn fans can jump up for joy as we zoom in on her face slowly. <laughs> all right, so what is the point of this build? I uh, have dual support, so you're gonna want supports. You have Axe Power. Now right now she just has Axe Power 2, but eventually she will cap out at Axe Power 5. She uses the Hero Axe, Hand Axe. She can also optionally run Pole Axe and Hammer, and you can upgrade them as needed. She does have pretty good decks, and on Lynn she has even better decks, so her accuracy is actually going to be decent on some of these weapons. Uh, but Axe Power, Dual Support, and Speed Taker. And you also have Nightly Escort to increase your own hit and avoid, as well as other females. Now, Marin has some good supports. So right now, Understood. she has an Allier and a Panette. Allier, Panette, and Chloe supports. Chloe, I would say, is like arguably metagame, and so is Allier, unless you're doing LTC. Panette is definitely metagame. And you can also run Tamara, so if you're not running an all-flyer squad like I am, you can run Panette and Tamara, and you can get... Easy A supports as long as, you know, you have those two plus a Leer. But look at how high her avoid gets just by standing next to these. And she also can speed stack with speed taker and deal huge damage with axe power. So it's a very straightforward build. You basically don't see any negative effect of axe power. The avoid minus 10 doesn't matter because your passive already removes that. It reduces it to five. So you're only losing five avoid and with dual support, you will hit huge avoid rates and can essentially make walls. So for example, we can take this Allier and then stick her next to Marin. Now both have pretty good avoid. Uh, Allier needs her weapon fixed though. So let's just like fix her weapon really quick. She's on the wrong weapon. But as long as you stack the avoid, you can get to pretty ridiculous numbers pretty quickly. And if you have a bunch of units with dual support, they can chain off each other to get like insane avoid numbers. This Panette doesn't have it, uh, but to some degree this Pandreo kind of has pretty high avoid. But you could also use non-flying units. In this case, I'm running a Wyvern. Generally speaking, her avoid outside of dual support is high enough that she dodges a lot of attacks. And her speed is good enough that she will double most things. And as she gets speed taker going, she'll double pretty much everything on the map pretty easily. The axe itself is very light, so once it gets to plus three, I believe it has a base weight of eight. You can also run the Lucina engraving, which gives you plus 30 avoid. It also reduces damage slightly and weapon weights, but because the hero's axe has pretty high uh, might, you don't really lose that much damage, if at all. But axe power is actually pretty legit. I think axe power... Hero's Axe and Hand Axe is a legit setup, and you can use this on different classes. So that's really the takeaway for this video. Uh, but it's a pretty fun build, I highly recommend it. This is just another build that came out of me testing Wyvern stuff. So yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment. And also you can join the channel now. It's four bucks, four ninety nine a month. Uh, I do live stream, I'm gonna be live streaming every weekday. Uh, so yeah, you get emotes, you get a cool little badge. All right, peace.